Lieutenant Colonel Michael A. Robinson, U.S. Marine Reserve. It's only, you know, nice that we tribute and pay thanks to all the soldiers that have come before us. Private First Class Joshua D. Brown, U.S. Army. And especially here on a university campus where, you know, not a lot of students really know about the true sacrifices that soldiers make. Sergeant Ryan M. Wood, U.S. Army. And we're part of around 150 universities and colleges around the United States that are doing this today. Sergeant Michael J. Beckerman, Army. Larry Parks, Jr., U.S. Army. We have three different posts here on campus today. We're going about 200 every 15 minutes. Technical Sergeant Leslie D. Williams, Air Force. Specialist Sean R. Cutsforth, Army. I've lost a couple friends over there. Sergeant David B. Parson, U.S. Army. Here, all 6,332 names being read, you know, it shows a significance. People have died in this war, family, friends, either you've known somebody, you had an acquaintance that's been killed over there. Private First Class Anthony D. Herbert, U.S. Army. Specialist Ethan C. Harden, U.S. Army. Specialist Adam G. Harold, U.S. Army. I think enough students really realize the impact of this war. Um, has had on our entire country. Private Joseph R. Guerrera, U.S. Army. Even if they don't stop, then they're definitely thinking about it for the rest of the day. I have seen students stop and listen because, I mean, more people than not have been affected by this war no matter what. Even if they're just walking past and not here, you know, hearing those names being said, it should affect everybody deeply. Private First Class Sean D. Gages, U.S. Army.